Hi, this is Sally Savasco, and in this video I'm going to be describing how to create yourself a PayPal button for your website or your web page. Uh, it's pretty easy. Once you get into your PayPal account, you go to Mer Merchant Services tab, and then right here it says Create a Payment Button, and over here are your Saved Buttons. So we're going to go to the pay Create a Payment Button. You have a different payment button options. You could do uh, shopping cart, buy now, donations, gift certificates, subscriptions, automatic billing, installment plan. I use buy now and subscriptions the most. Let's do a subscription one for this demonstration. And let's just say hosting um, nickel package, annual package. And I'm going to charge a discounted rate for the year for this hosting package. Now, you can choose how many um, intervals you have. Is it once a month, once every year? I'm going to change this to once a year, but you have the option days, weeks, months, years, and how many times. Uh, after how many billing cycles, I always leave this at never. And then you would scroll down and there's some advanced options that you may or may not want to use that will take your visitors to a specific URL once they pay. But in this case, we're just going to create the, the subscription button and install it on our website. Okay, then once you have it created, you go scroll down. You can do custom advanced features, which would be you would add some details of where you take the customer once they pay. Um, you don't have to worry about that. Uh, right now, if there's not some place, like if you needed them to fill out a form or something, you would put the URL to that form here, or a success page, you know, or a thank you page, something like that. But um, if you don't need to do that, you, um, don't worry about that, just create the button. And then once you do, you get the code, and select the code, and do a cop control C, copy, and then paste that into your web page in the HTML mode, or um, you can put it in a text file, any kind of text file, um, you know, notepad or any kind of text file, uh, even in a sticky on a Mac would work, uh, but don't try to give it to somebody to use uh, via a Word doc. The Word document will screw up all your formatting and your um, code. So that's it, and this is what will show up on your site exactly like that. And you just need to put the details of what it is they're subscribing for. And um, that's it, that's the button. So if you want to hand it off for somebody else to use, just put it in a text file and attach it to your email and send it over to them. And then they'll have the right code to put your button that you just created right on your site. And if you want to just do a buy now button, it's the same process. You just do that option. That's it. Thanks.